Hi, I'm Richard Avila. I'm a driver instructor here at Orange Unified School District. I've been a driver for Orange Unified School District for 16 years now. 16 years. Behind the wheel trainer, I'm sorry. About 11 years ago, and I've been a driver instructor for seven years now. Well, it was a really good opportunity at the time. It was a good job, and it still is a good job. And I really come to love to uh, driving these vehicles. I love driving these big buses. I love working with the people around me. I love driving kids. I have way too many kids, my own. So, so I love kids, you know, I can't help it, I love kids. But it's a great job, I get to work with kids and I get to work with a lot of nice people too. Driving electric buses versus driving regular gas-powered or diesel-powered diesel -powered, diesel buses. The thing, that caught, the thing that caught me by surprise was how smoothly they drive. To be honest, when I was told I'm going to be driving an electric bus, I thought, well, okay, electric bus, uh, it's probably not going to be that fast. Probably not going to, the battery's probably not going to last that long. There's going to be some kind of compromises, right? We want clean air, but there's got to be some kind of compromise. I was thinking it's going to be the, the uh, the, um, how the bus drives, okay? But I was really surprised when I drove this bus, how quickly it responds, how smooth the ride was, and the, how quiet it was. That's the thing that got me. This is so, it's such a nice atmosphere. And inside, the seats are blue. Well, all the other buses around here, they're either uh, gray <laughs> or different shades of brown. Okay, these have the blue seats in there. You get in there, the mood is so nice. I just love driving them. I love driving big vehicles, period. They're a lot of fun to drive. It's, it's a lot like playing a video game. Well, the, the electric buses, they don't go as far on the charge as say a, a diesel bus with a full tank, okay? But the range is, the range is decent, okay? And it's, it's plenty of range, plenty enough uh, charge to do 95% of the routes here, okay? Very seldom will anybody drive a route here that's more than 100, 100 miles. Usually a bunch, of the, a bunch of the buses here, five or six miles, some maybe 20, 30 miles. So the, although though we don't get the same, mile, the same range with a diesel power, gas power, powered bus, you get a, a, a the, the range is fine. It's plenty, you get plenty of drivability in these buses. That was a big surprise for me. That was a surprise for me, okay? Like I said, I mentioned before, I, I expected the bus a little bit more sluggish, maybe going uphill, not a whole lot of power, might have to do some downshifting. But I was really surprised at how quickly this thing moves. You step, you get on the, you get on the throttle and it starts and it takes off, it's quick. And it, it's the acceler, oh sorry. The acceleration is comparable to any of these other buses here, okay? But it's a lot quieter. You don't have to hear all that noise. You don't have to suck up all those fumes. You know? um, yeah, the, 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 the ride is, the bus is quick, it's got power, and it's a really smooth ride, that's what I like. It's really smooth. That impressed me a lot. Yes, I do. First of all, for my emotional well-being, quiet buses are nice. Nice and calm, okay? And I don't know that this is the true or not, but I imagine a quieter bus is probably going to mean quieter students. They can relax too. Hi, my name is Christina Celeste Russo. I'm the Director of Transportation for Orange Unified School District and I've been here for five years. Well, I think that there was a lot of variables that helped Orange Unified School District make the decision to go EV buses. Um, obviously, uh, funding is one of them. You know, there's grant opportunities available that allowed the district to apply for um, new buses to expand and grow our fleet. Um, obviously, you know, the state and uh, local communities are in that process of wanting to reduce emission standards um, and keep the community safe as far as the health um, safety standards are concerned. And obviously, going electric helps to, uh, you know, better that opportunity. 
and um, everyone's moving away from diesel and gas-powered buses. Um, so why not take that opportunity to finally go in that direction? Um, and I think that, you know, for the betterment of the district and the students and our community, um, you know, Orange felt it was the time. Um, well, there's still a lot to learn in that regard, but um, obviously the cost savings alone with fuel and maintenance is going to be pretty significant for the district. Um, in the future, we see great potential when it comes to vehicle to uh, grid credits. Um, or savings, um, as well as LCFS uh, credits that are there and available to our district. Um, in some regard, we might even be able to assist the district if there was ever power outages. Um, our buses might be able to, you know, help pick up where, um, you know, the district is struggling in some regard because we have um, those sources available to us. So I think the biggest hesitation that we had um, was the distance uh, limitations for driving these vehicles on our routes, um, as well as infrastructure. Um, in addition to that, driver buy-in, um, getting them to uh, you know, go away from what they've known all these years into something new uh, was definitely something that we had to consider. Um, but because we have fixed routes in most regards, you know, putting them on the road, um, driving certain routes, it, it's been a lot easier than uh, we anticipated um, and uh, even that driver buy-in perspective you know they got really excited when they saw these new buses rolling into the yard um, they were jumping all over them trying to get into the the driver's seat and get them out on the road so that's definitely helped um, and we've had um, that's definitely changed too and we've had an opportunity to you know gain a lot of experience with the infrastructure process um, and getting that whole uh, process implemented um, so, you know, those hesitations we initially had, um, you know, that it's not something that a district should have because the process is easy, the drivers are happy, and um, definitely uh, the buses can do a lot more than what people anticipate they can compared to what they're used to all these years. <laughs>